What's up guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. It is 19 degrees out here today. It's warmed up substantially from when we left the house. We're going out to do some winter fishing. Come along, it should be fun. Both of our local ramps were frozen up this morning. Neither one of us could get on the water. So we jumped on the road, headed down river. There is a ton of current here in the Tennessee River today. It's got some stain to it. I haven't even looked at water temp yet. Air temp's 19 degrees, but I think it's gonna 40. be a fun day. It's 40? 40. 40. All right, we got a water temp of 40 degrees. It's stained. It's not perfect conditions, <laughs> but I, I still think we're gonna get them, I really do. We'll try and catch a few. We're gonna try power fishing, at least to start with all this current. We're hoping that'll stage these fish up in some predictable areas where they can stay out of the current, and uh, we'll see what happens. The only time I ever came down here in winter, it was just like this. Got him. Oh, there he is. Molly. Hello, friend. Yeah, he was deeper. Got a mega bass spinner bait. I'm slow rolling it, half ounce spinner bait. Given the conditions, now this particular spinner bait, it's got these long tails, so I don't need a trailer. But given the conditions, I put this tiny little one aught Hayabusa trailer hook on there because I feel like any bite we're gonna get today, we're not gonna wanna miss it. You know, when the water's cold, Guides are freezing up. You don't want to go blowing bites. And that fish, sure enough, had just that stinger hook. So we are off to a start. Spinnerbait fish in 40 degree water, 19 degree air temps. I'll take it. Big small mouth. Drum. Oh, oh. <laughs> big drum. Have fun. All right. I you hooked it. No, no, no. the old swim bait down there just creeping along bottom get him nope. all right guys we are going to make a move that first stop is a proof of concept right when it's really cold you don't know for sure that they're going to react particularly with the flows in this river almost doubling. I mean, these are really high flows. There's a ton of current. We like to think of that as a positive, but you're not sure until that first bite happens. So we got a small mouth and a drum in the boat, uh, one on a, on a Kitek, on a swim bait, and one on that Mega Bass spinner bait. I'm liking it now. It's freezing cold. I'm not looking forward to making a run. We're letting the motor warm up, of course. But uh, this should be good. Nice fish. 
fish. I'm thinking that the reel's kind of freezing up on me. Hi, so dude. Hello, my friend. Look how fat that fish is. It's a spotty. Spotty, yeah. Beautiful spotted bass. Super fat. Throwing a little 3 8 ounce guppy head with that X Zone Swammer crawling bottom in about 20 foot. You guys can see the current, I'm sure. It's just insane current out here. And this big metal thing, this big anchor point, is creating a, a current seam. And I was crawling bottom in that slack water. And that's where that fish was. Nice fish again. <laughs> Think I'm out of it. Yep. Nice. Thank you, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's cold up here. Nice small mouth. So just ready. like Matt. Thanks, bud. Just creeping the rig down there. Threw it out there, just on that current seam. Watching my line, letting it hit bottom, popping it up, and just creeping it along bottom. And that fish, I never felt the bite, but all of a sudden I had a bunch of slack in my line. It cracked it coming to me, so I had to reel up and then set. But uh, man, we're off to a nice start. Yeah, I mean, given the conditions, we're smashing. Retie it now. It's proven. Mouth. Look at all three species now. They all looked equally frozen. <laughs> I'll need that uh, chartreuse blue X zone. Thanks, bud. Guys, we are braving the elements. About every two or th you know two or three casts, I'm having to take a, a bait with a hook and clean the ice out of the line guide on my reel. I've had my blades on my A-Rig frozen to the heads of the bait. <laughs> Look down, it's not swimming right. It's because they're frozen to the head. But we're catching fish. It's amazing how fast you forget how cold it is when you're setting the hook. Yeah, hey, your hands warm up there for a minute. <laughs> I can't even reel my bait. <laughs> That's how fast it freezes. You know, one question that we get a lot is how we fish in these types of conditions. Uh, we have a lot of people ask about the gear that we wear, and we have a lot of people ask about what we have to do to the boats, because traditionally people would winterize their boats. We don't do that. We fish every week of the year, year round, doesn't matter how cold it gets. Uh, but let's start with us. I'm just going to walk you through what I have on right now. I think Tim is wearing something similar. Um, on my upper, this is a down jacket. Underneath my down jacket, I'm wearing a Reaper, especially for that face mask when I have to run the boat. And then under that, I've got a mid layer, which is like thermals. Um, on the lowers, I've got Hydronaut bibs. And then under my Hydronauts, I've actually got jeans on underneath that. And then under those, I also have a mid layer. Uh, and we'll link all that stuff in the video description for you because we get tons of questions about it. So I'll link all those different items. Uh, and then as far as shoes, I have boots on today. I am not wearing flip flops. Uh, this is past my line. It's too cold for too long. So 
These are AFTCO deck boots. I don't know if you can see those. And then I've just got thick wool socks on with those. One thing you notice that we are barehanded. I do have gloves that I wear when I'm driving the boat, but I don't wear them when I fish. Uh, I like, I mean, I wanna feel every bite, but my one thing that I do that you guys don't see is hand warmers in the pockets. Tim's got some fancy hand warmers in his pockets. I've just got throwaways, but that is critical. And then of course a beanie, something to keep your ears warm, but that's it. It's not that bad. I mean, we're pretty big boys to start with. There's definitely a little insulation there as well, but it's not a huge deal to be out in the cold. Your face gets used to it. A beard helps. My beard was all covered in ice after one of our runs this morning, but uh, it's thawed out now. Now, as far as the boat goes, we are blessed now, both Tim and I, uh, we have the opportunity to store our boats indoors, which basically means you don't have to do anything. Uh, but it's not always been that way. For years and years, I guided all through the winters, all through the snow and ice with my boat sitting outside every day. I personally don't think there's a whole lot that you have to do. Uh, the big thing is to open all of your pumps. So drain your live well, uh, open your drain plug and make sure that stuff drains. Uh, and then I lower my motor, get all the water out, raise it up, let the water out, down, let the water out, up again. And then I put it down when I go to park it, I put it down and I leave it down. That way water can't, like if it rains, it can't collect inside your lower and then freeze and break that lower unit. Uh, that's all I've ever done. Every once in a while, <coughs> maybe every couple years, the one weak point is that if you don't drain all the pipes well, you'll have a bilge pump that gets ice in it and they'll crack. Uh, and you know, cause you got to put your boat in the water, you're taking on a bunch of water, you check your, your plug and your plug is in. That's your bilge pumps leaking somewhere. Uh, so I've had that happen once or twice through the years, but not a big deal. In general, if you're conscious about draining the water out of the boat, putting your motor down low so it can't collect water, these things are pretty bulletproof. The boats themselves do great. And you can continue to fish all the way through the winter without a care in the world, even if you're parking that thing outside. I mean, I've had a foot of snow on my deck and no damage to my gear because I took the time to drain the places where you would have a problem. angry, whatever he is. Big old slimy drum. He's bulldogging. There he is. Thank you, sir. You got him. Just track. There they go. Ugh, I'm trying. <laughs> oh. Well, when that swim bait goes dunk, that's not what you're hoping is on the other end. But on a day like this, We'll take every bite we can get. It's a fun fight.
Got him? What'd you get him on? Oh, big ball. Is it? Yeah. Oh, big ball. <laughs> right. Nice. Spot lock us. Good job, Tim. Good job. That's the one right there. color and everything. Yeah, he's not even a all white. Beautiful fish, man. That's the one we're looking for. Come here. Good work. Matt just caught that drum. Thanks, dude. I got hung up, came upstream a little bit, threw back in the eddy, let that A-rig go down to bottom, popped it up. It was just slow rolling on bottom and that smallmouth cracked it. These fish are still somewhat active, even though we're in this 40 degree water. Because they're river fish. These fish live in and around current. Now this is a lot of current, but fish that live around current tend to stay more active than your typical lake fish. They're just used to having to move. Body throwing the full size tactical flex rig, just upsizing that profile, seeing if it makes a difference. came through and just crushed it. Knocked slack in my line, swung and missed. <laughs> then he didn't know what hit him. I wasn't missing him that, that second time. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Guys, it's been a good day. Started off super, super cold. You, you heard Matt talk about layering up. Uh, when you wear the right gear, really it's not that uncomfortable. You might have a little bit of snot running down your face, your hands might be cold, but for the most part, man, I am warm. Bundled up, got that layer on, got the, the insulated bibs and, and the beanie. We're out here catching fish. A great day. Again, we launched today. Actually, when I pulled out of my driveway, it said 13 degrees. I think when I got to Matt's place, it was 19. When we it was launched, 19 when we got here. 19 when we launched, 15 degrees when we got to Matt's. But uh, lots of uh, lots of current today. We got high water, we got gates open, we got mud lines and current seams, and cold water. 40 degree water temp, 39 degree water temp when it's clear. But uh, stuck with the uh, what the underspin, the the little swim bait. You caught a nice spot. That was a that was a good that spot a good on that. Bait on that X zone, just on a guppy head. Yep. The spinner bait, I thought the spinner bait would have worked better. Up in, on up in this flooded uh, shoreline, you know, the water's up like four or five feet. So there's lots of uh, wood and stuff in the water. I thought throwing that spinner bait would have got more than just two bites, but uh, kind of nice one. And then that rig, just slow rolling it down there on bottom. These fish aren't that active and uh, just deep enough that we couldn't speed crank them or anything like that. But uh, all in all, a great day out on the water. Uh, caught them on reaction for the most part. And it's, it's always great when Matt and I, our schedules, you know, align where we can get out on the water together. So uh, if you guys like this type of video, hit that thumbs up. 
Uh, we'll link everything down below in the video description that we caught these fish on. You know, you'll see that today some of the rig fish I caught with a chartreuse and blue X zone swim, uh, swammer on there. I had to go with that heavier head. So we'll link some of that stuff down below in the video description. But uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys on the next video.